Monday into the weekend, getting ready to start off hot and heavy tomorrow for Monday. Guys, this is training night, and there's some stuff that has been put together here that's basically taken quite a long time. Recommend you get a piece of paper, a pen, pencil, whatever you need, get extras, because you're going to be getting a lot of notes out of this, okay? So tonight, the individual I'm going to get to bring on is taken and studied every service and has some highlights for you guys and where to find things and some other things that a lot of people, even things that she didn't even know about. And uh, it just, but it's what she does. If you want to know something, she should have been an investigative reporter or a lawyer. That's what, <laughs> that's, what, that's what kind of crazy detail she's gone into here, guys. But without, without further ado, um, my wife, I get to bring up Miss Rose Guerrero King. Good evening, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the call. So we, I have a lot of information. In fact, I don't know if I'm going to be able to cover it all because I have a tendency to start talking very, very fast. And so I might slow down so that this might be part, like part one and part two. So I might do half and half because I have like 12 pages of notes right now. Um, let me let some people in real quick here. Um, so I have about 12, no, 12 pages of notes for every service. Um, now, I, I'm, I'm mainly focused on residential, so if, if I know some people are like hoping for business and stuff like that, that might be, you know, down the road sometime, but right now I'm focusing on residential services, so you, it might be easier for you to maybe do screenshots of some of the screens as I go through. It might be easiest for you, um, so I'm going to go through each service, um, service by service, and go through highlights some of the big things to know. So I'm gonna share my screen and then we're gonna go through that together. All right, so I put it on just a Word document. Let me make this bigger. Hopefully you guys can see it. Can you guys see my screen, the Word document? Okay, good. Okay, so let's, stop at the, let's start at the very top box. Okay, so it's extremely important to be sure the survey sheets are complete, completely filled out. Now, I don't know if some people actually will um, send survey sheets to people still, or if me personally, I prefer ask the questions to the person right then and there over the phone or in person, right? Get it filled out immediately, okay, right? And the reason why is because if there's any incomplete information or wrong information, it could cause a problem later on, okay? And number two, number, next thing to know is please be sure to get customer information. I like to have little index cards with their account number or their order number, confirmation number, their name, address, phone number, date of install, date of order, et cetera. Phone number, the name of the customer, that type of thing. This way, if something happens and you have to claim the customer, um, it, you have that information, not to mention, it's good to have because I like to have little a file cabinet with all my customers so I can reference in case somebody says, hey, I forgot this, I forgot that. No problem, let me go pull your account, right? So, and then also access your back office. We all know this already. And storefront frequently ask questions for each service to learn more. And I'm going to show you where that is because I actually just doing my, doing this, preparing for this call, I was finding out a lot of good stuff myself. Okay. So let's start off with ID SIL. Okay. So ID SIL, it's a sign up services online. We're going to do this online. We all know that. Um, there's only the two plans to choose from as far as one adult or one adult and up to 10 kids we all know the pricing um, but sometimes it's good to get the breakdown as far as explain it if you get it in a quarter if you do the three months you're saving two dollars and 32 cents a month okay or if you do the year you're basically getting uh, two months for free okay so then you it creates value right have customer write down the password they set up for themselves when they're signing up again the customer always has to sign up the service themselves um, make sure i always tell people don't forget your password write it down i don't know how many times i have people forget their password and then we had to call customer service and it was a, it was you know so i say write down your password because after hitting seal the deal and um, move to the next step to complete the process now keep in mind when you say seal the deal the process is not done until you authenticate it, which means you at the bottom of the page, it'll say continue enrollment, click this, right? So from here, you're gonna put in the, the customer's email address and the password they just set up for themselves that they should have written down, okay? 
have the customer answer the series of questions that they ask. This will complete the authentication process. They'll ask like if you had a, you know, student loan at this during this day, you know, that type of stuff, right? And then encourage the customer to enter as much information as possible. Um, the more there is to protect, the better chances they will see ID still work for them, right? Because if, if that's what we want. We want them to see value in the service. But in order, they need to put in their email, their phone number, their, their credit cards. I mean, every as much information as possible, right? Encourage the customer to get a free report um, under the credit monitoring and report option. This will show all accounts created or outstanding with this customer's information. We get two of these a year. Normally you can get one for free, but through ID still we get two of these a year, which is awesome, right? So make sure, I always tell people to do that immediately because this is gonna give them a full report of every time their social security has been used or anything like that. So this is where a lot of people are getting um, knowledgeable as far as, oh my gosh, I didn't know this is happening. And then again, it creates value back to ID sell, right? Okay, and then make sure you have your customer download the app on the phone so they have instant alerts. Because I notice when I have it on my phone, I get alerted immediately. Because if not, you'll just get an email. Not everybody checks their email, right? So that you want them to get alerted immediately, it's gonna show up on their phone, and then they can go look, at, look it up and see what's going on with their account. Okay, if wanting to upgrade plans, at the bottom of ID still page, click on upgrade and follow instructions. So you don't have to call, you can, you can call, but honestly, it's super simple. There's step by step. So just from the website, ID Silk, you literally at the very bottom, if you follow these instructions at the bottom, it says upgrade, um, upgrade, click upgrade, uh, upgrade. And you click that and it tells you exactly what to do. Super simple, okay? And that way, like if somebody wants a quarter, they're going month to month and they want to go to an annual plan or a quarter plan, that's what you do to do that, okay? And then here's the customer service number for you right there. It's 888-325-5865. So that's good to save on your uh, contacts on your phone to have just in case, okay? Now, um, the number again is 888-325-5865, okay? Now, residuals get paid for a life of the customer. So this is something to pay attention to. These are the services you want to get because you want to get a customer one time, have a happy customer, and then you get paid forever, right? Okay, and then here's some great educational videos for ID Seal. So again, I hopefully you can just screenshot this right here. ID Seal Insights from uh, Law Office, uh, Enforcer Ryan Williams. He's, uh, what, Senior Vice President, him and his wife. It's a great, it brings credibility because he has law enforcement background, right? He was a private investigator, okay? So that's really, really good. Why ID still is a really good one as well. Again, there's the link on there, do a screenshot. Um, and I save this stuff in my notes. So all I have to do is copy it and send it to potential customers, right? ID still video, target children, link anybody you know who has kids, I would send this link and say, hey, have you seen this? And it's, it's only a couple minutes long, but it's credible because it's, it's basically from a news agency talking about how children's identity is getting compromised. So it creates urgency like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize this is happening, okay? So that's a great thing to do for any parent who has a kid, anybody. And then how IDC works, IDC works is another great one for somebody who already signed up for the service and they wanna learn more about the different options they have, okay? Now let's go into high-speed internet. So again, you're gonna to need to ch check address of customer for availability, pricing, and speeds because obviously it depends as far as the area where they're at and all that other stuff. So you do need to have their address. You have to have that, right? So let's start off with AT&T. So AT&T does offer bundles, the double play and triple plays for people who want the home phone. Again, it's going to depend if it's available, okay? It is an online order service, okay? There is for just standalone internet only, it's a $99 install fee, okay? Now, if they order it with a bundle, um, it's $19.95. If they were to get like DirecTV, 
or they were to get um, AT&T streaming TV, anything with the other TV service is $19.95, right? It's cheaper. And then you need address, of course, to determine availability. Like I said, it is a, a 12 month, uh, there is a 12 month discount, but there's no contract. Okay, so they can cancel at any time, but it is a 12 month discount. So most most people will stay for sure at least a, um, the full year. Okay, now additional $10 equipment fee for the modem. So there is a $10 in addition to the price you see on the website. Okay, now with AT&T you get only one <laughs> terabyte max, but just so you know, that's 100 gigabytes. That's a lot of data. If you're using more than that, more than likely, that's like an alert to them that they're like, they're thinking like you're a business. Why are you using so much data, right? Um, or it, it's, um, what's that? That's a thousand gigabytes. A thousand, yeah. But anyway, so, but basically a hundred gigabytes is a lot, a lot of data, right? And then unless you bundle it, like say you bundle, like say, or for instance, you already were AT or your customer was already an AT&T um, cell phone customer. If they put their account information, then they will get unlimited, okay? Then they don't have to worry about the one terabyte max, okay? Now, um, they also, HBO Max trial free is right now for 30 days. They get that for free with AT&T. Can you turn the phone on? Okay, and if previous account uh, balance, if there's a, pre at, when you're checking out, it'll tell the, class, it'll pop up. Oh, 300 and something dollars. Maybe they didn't pay, return their previous equipment years and years ago type of thing. It'll show up at that point in time, okay? Now, residuals are paid for two years on AT&T, okay? Internet. Now, let's go into Spectrum. Spectrum also bundles TV, phone, maybe, a, again, it's going to depend on availability where you're at. It's a, also an online order. You do get a 12-month discount. Again, no contract for Spectrum. There is a $9.99 one-time self-installation activation fee. And what happens is they send the modem through the mail to the customer. And it's usually the very next day. In fact, I just got a Spectrum customer and it took, she got it today and we ordered on, I think it was on Friday. So it, it took like two days, right? Okay, so two days, okay? And she did it. It's so simple, she had no problem at all. There is a, a customer service number that actually they tell you to if you have problems and they help walk you through, but it was very, very simple for her, okay? $5 monthly Wi-Fi router rental. You can use your own equipment. So if somebody already has it or they don't wanna pay a rental fee, you actually, when you're checking out, it tells you what specific routers are compatible and you can use. Okay, so it'll tell you the model number and everything. If you're not sure, well, would, would my model work? It'll tell you, okay? There's no data cap, so it's unlimited. And you can opt for faster speed. Some people might say it might be like 100 Mbps and they might want like maybe 200 or more. You can, but it'll cost more, $20 or more depending on the availability and of course the speeds, okay? Now if um, previous balance again on the account, at the checkout, it'll say, actually, I had a customer and it told me that she owed, you know, so much money and we had to take care of that payment. She did. And um, there's actually a customer service. If it doesn't go through, there's a customer service that tells you to call to complete the, you know, the process. So we had to talk to a, cu a customer representative. Residuals for this service also is residuals for two years. Okay. Now let's go into Frontier Internet. Okay, so Frontier also offers bundles, TV, phone, again, where available. Online order as well. Um, there is an $85 activation fee, and that's going to be for a professional technician to come and do fully install everything. Okay, there's a one-time broadband processing fee of $10, just one time. And then there is a monthly $10 Wi-Fi router fee. Okay, that's so in addition to the quoted price on the website. It is a one year price lock. So they're guaranteed that, that rate for the year, but there's no contract for Frontier either, okay? Only the start items, just so you know, when you're checking out, just to know, and this is any of the, pro the providers, when you're checking out, only the start items are must fill out data. Anything that's not starred, you do not have to fill out, just FYI, because they actually, Frontier offers, it's called Wi-Fi Everywhere Extender Lease. So, but what it is, is like for people maybe has upstairs, downstairs, or have real big square footage of a home, and they perhaps 
um, don't have good Wi-Fi throughout the house. So they offer an extra plan where you can get an extender so it gets throughout the whole house, upstairs, downstairs type of thing, okay? They have the everywhere support. So if you need to call customer service or if there's any problem, somebody would come out. Again, that's an additional fee, okay? They don't have to get this, okay? They do also offer personal security bundle, um, like where you could do a cloud storage and software, okay? And also identity theft protection. But again, you don't wanna go through them. You want your customer going through you, okay? So just make sure you would have signed them up first with ID sales. They'll say, oh, no, 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 we got you already, right? If that's something they're interested in because they will try to get them, okay? If previous balance on account, again, the amount will show up at checkout. And again, the residuals for this service is going to be a two years, okay? Now let's go into TV service. We're going to go into direct TV um, online. It's an online order. Okay, it is subject to credit approval. So I do let my customers know, hey, they're gonna do a soft credit check. Um, it's not anything hard. A lot of times it's based if you had a history with them, I noticed, and maybe you didn't return the equipment type of thing. There is a 1995 activation paid. It's gonna be paid that same day, okay? They will have to pay for that today if they order. It is a two year contract. And if they wanna get out before their two years, it's $20 month early termination fee per month left on their agreement, okay? There is a $9.99 regional sport fee for choice package and above. So if it's below choice, they don't have to pay that extra $9.99, okay? Packages is gonna start, we all we see on their website, anywhere from $44.99 to $134.99 a month, depending on what they want, okay? It's always good to ask, what are your must-have channels? I always ask, what do you, what does husband watch? What does wife, what do kids watch? So this way I can line them with the, the, the programming that fits them, right? And then let's see, um, discount rate applies for only 12 months, so for only for one year. And then just so they know, the next after month 13, the rates will jump up to normal rates, okay? So it's not a two-year, it's a two-year contract, but their rates only last for one year, okay? $5 discount applies when agreeing to auto pay. So if they don't mind getting the, having the auto pay paper lid where they auto debit, um, they will get a $5 discount, okay? And there is a direct TV app that's available so they can have TV wherever they go type of thing. Mm -hmm. Movie channels are free for three months, but they must cancel after the promo to avoid being charged. I remind my customers, I hope, I mean, like I said, I want to set myself apart, and I hope you do too, where I set a reminder on my calendar maybe a few days before their three months to say, hey, so-and-so, your, your uh, movie channels are ending. Um, you, let's go ahead and get that canceled out so you don't get charged, okay? The NFL Sunday ticket is included with the choice package and above, but you need to cancel before the next season or they will automatically bill you, which is like over $300. It's like $353 or something like that. So you don't want your customer upset about that. So definitely, again, another thing you could do, remind after what is the Super Bowl in February? Yeah. After Super Bowl, send a little note to all your March. customers. Yeah, in March or whatever. Hey, guys, you know, the NFL's, um, you know, it's over. Let's go ahead and cancel that out so you don't get charged for the next season, right? And then the first receiver is going to be included in the package. Every receiver thereafter is going to be $7 per month, Okay. So obviously, if it's two TVs, one receiver is covered, so included in the package, but the second receiver is going to be $7 in addition to the package price, okay? So again, depending on how many TVs they need covered. And now if they want wireless, some people don't like all the wires and stuff. There is that option. However, it's $99, so let them know. It's one-time fee to get the wireless receiver, okay? The residuals on AT, uh, DirecTV is for two years, okay? And then let's talk about AT&T streaming TV. So order um, again online. You must have high speed internet. The minimum is 24 Mbps, which is like Comcast. I mean, most, most of them do, unless you're dealing with maybe DSL. DSL may not be fast enough, okay? And it's great for apartments or locations that cannot do or do not want satellite. I've had customers that say, I don't want a satellite no matter what. So this would be great for them, right? And then it is subject to credit approval as well. It is a two-year agreement. 
okay? And then three, um, you can only do concurrent AT&T streaming on three devices, okay? Um, and then there is a 1995 activation fee for this. And there's an $8.49 monthly RSN, which is the regional sports network for, again, for choice and above packages in select markets, okay? And there is a $10 discount with other AT&T services. So if they have, you know, say they already had internet, and they already have cell phone with AT&T, they, they can get those discounts, okay? And it's a one year free HBO, they get HBO free for a year, and then the movie channels, they'll get also free for only three months though, okay? Again, you want, you want to set a reminder to remind them that, hey, your movie channels are ending, you don't want to get charged for that, right? And then qualifying customers will get the first receiver included. When I say qualifying, it's going to be based on your, your credits, your credit score, basically, if you're, you're a good credit, you're um, not a high risk type of thing. And then after that, it's $120 per receiver thereafter. So you can pay it up front. So say for instance, I had two TVs. My first receiver's covered, the second one, I either pay $120 right up front or I pay $10 a month. And there's a, it's a 12 month zero APR uh, arrangement, okay? So basically what you're doing is you're purchasing the receivers, okay? Now there's 500 hours of cloud DVR. Now keep in mind, I, I will tell you if somebody doesn't qualify, their credit isn't good, they're gonna ask that person to pay for it up front, the receivers. They're not gonna get one for free and they're, you know, they're gonna have to pay that money. So that may be a disincentive for somebody who doesn't have really good credit type of thing, or decent credit, I should say. And then access um, a favorite streaming apps like Netflix, it's all compatible because it's all streaming anyways, Netflix, you, YouTube, Pandora, and more. And that's a separate subscription. So if they have that, that's something separate they have to pay for. And if you wanna cancel, you have 14 days and the devices, you can cancel within 14 days, the customer, but the devices need to be returned to avoid a $120 non-return fee, okay? So it's two weeks to return it if they decide to cancel for some unknown reason. Now that is a two year, again, residual. Okay, notice these two years, we want the lifers, right? We wanna get paid forever, okay? So now let's talk about Spectrum TV, okay? Now Spectrum TV is online order, um, it is a 12 month pricing, uh, pretty much a commitment type of thing. No contract though. So, but you're guaranteed that price for at least the 12 months. Okay. There's a $7 and 99 cent HD receiver box fee every single month. And then there is a $4 and 99 cent for the first receiver. And then anything after that, it's flat 999. So if I have three TVs, then it's going to be 999. Okay. 9.99 plus the 7.99. These are additional charges. So 7.99 for the HD if I have HD TV, and then and actually they require you, or you don't actually have to do it if you don't have HD. But most people have H high definition TVs, right? And then of course three TVs would be 9.99 flat rate, okay? Um, for DVR, okay? DVR on up to four TVs, um, 780 hours of storage, and then there's thousands of on-demand choices there. Uh, there is a Spectrum TV app also available. And then there is a contract buyout option. So if somebody's already in contract with a different provider and they want, they hate their provider, but they're like, man, I have to, you know, I have a con cancellation fee or whatever. Spectrum will buy out a customer's contract in select markets. We have to find that out for triple plays or limited um, double play options, okay? Now, how you do that, is you receive, once the customer gets their final bill from the previous provider, it'll show the early, they should say how much they owe, like $200, early termination fees. And it has to be clearly marked and completed. Then there is, it's called the Spectrum Contract Buyout Form. And I put the link on there. It's www.spectrum.com backslash my check. So if you click on that, that link right there will get you to the Spectrum contract buyout form, okay? So the customer needs to send their last bill with the early termination fee and the, that uh, Spectrum contract buyout form completed. And it must be sent in within 60 days from install. And here's the address, it's 11 Commerce Road, Newton, Connecticut, 064. Seven zero, and you want to put attention strategic 
accounts team. Okay, so the, again, the address to send that information to would be 11 Commerce Road, Newton, Connecticut, 06470, and attention, strategic accounts team, okay? And then they'll assess it and then they will give them a check, okay, for up to $500, okay? And if that residual is only up to two years again, two year service that we get paid to, okay? Now let's talk about DISH. Now DISH is also an online order. Um, it is subject to credit approval. However, I noticed one of our customers, it showed he owed a balance with DirecTV. We went to DISH and it didn't ask for any deposit at all. So sometimes, I think it's not necessary, I don't think it really affects, it's not gonna show up on your credit report. What it does, it checks more to see if you owe a balance with them. Like if you had a previous account with them and you had some outstanding issues. I think that's both for AT&T as well as DISH, okay? But I think at and is a little stricter because of the equipment too, okay? So um, it is subject to a credit approval. It is a two-year contract with the early termination of $20 per month left on the contract. Now, um, the packages start off at $59.99 to $94.99, depending on what you choose. However, that rate with DISH stays for two years. Remember, DirecTV is one year only, and then it jumps up. DISH, two years, that rate stays for the full 24 months, which is good to know who like people who like stability, okay? Now, the, the receiver fees, it's gonna be $5 for one receiver uh, extra, and then for two receivers, it would be $10. If you have three receivers, it's gonna be $20. If you have four receivers, you're looking at $25 extra, and then five receivers, 30, and then six receivers would be 35, okay? So that's in addition to the package, okay? And then there's a $9.99 dish protect silver after six months. What that is, is basically if you have to have a technician come out, if something goes wrong with the hardware, anything like that, that right there is to protect you, the customer so that technician come in and you don't have to pay anything to have them come out. But you don't get charged that until after six months of billing, okay? Now up to $3 a month for the RSN fee for America's top 120 plus and above, okay? That's a regional sports network fee as well. There's a $1 hold. So one thing about DISH, they won't charge immediately because DirecTV charges $19.95 and right away. Some people want to know, am I going to be charged anything right away, right? DirecTV, yes, $19.95. And then they bill you for the, the service later. But DISH, oh, they don't. But they will charge $1. And the reason why they charge $1 on the credit card to make sure it's a valid credit card. It can't be a prepaid car. It has to be a valid credit card. And it's going to have a hold for three days just to make sure it's a valid credit card. Now, with a DISH, which is really cool, we have a refer a friend discount program, which is really, really awesome. So this is an incentive to, to if you already have a DISH customer, you are able to incentivize them as well as the new customer. Now, if you do not have an existing DISH customer, find somebody who has DISH even if they're not your, your customer. And the reason why is because through getting a refer, you can get a referral code through them. And when you activate that, they will get a discount, but the new customer gets a discount as well, okay? So usually it's anywhere from five to $10 a month for 10 months, okay? So, um, which is really, really cool. Now, just so you know, um, so a customer does need to uh, set up at the dish.com. They have to set up their account to activate that five or $10 a month discount. They have to do that because sometimes they can choose other options. They offer other like, like prizes, like you can get this many movies for free or whatever. So they get to choose. It's like a grab bag of what they want with this, this discount. Now there are um, other, and that's under right here, which refer a friend. It says enter special offers, have a promotion code. You see that when you're checking out and you have to put in that code, it's a VC number. It always starts with the Victor, Charlie, and it's a long number, but again, you'll get that from your existing DISH customer. You apply the code, and then when it'll, it'll know, okay? And then um, 30 plus premium channels are gonna be free for three months. 
uh, but again, you must cancel to avoid the charges in the future. And it does not offer, DISH does not offer HBO and Showtime. And that's, that's something to know because some people actually have shows they watch on HBO and, Sh and Showtime and they don't offer this, okay? So that's something, if somebody's adamant about, I gotta watch my shows and series or whatever, you're gonna have to go to DirecTV because DISH doesn't offer that, okay? Now, um, unless they have AT, they want to get AT and T, and then they get HBO for free, right, for years <laughs> <laughs> through you, through wireless. And then there's um, exclusive offers available for 55 plus or, or age, active duty, and veteran military offer. They have a healthcare offer, and they have a first responder offer. So go check those out. So if any of those people apply, they get all these different type of, like the, the veteran, they get all these military channels for free. You know, they get all this stuff in some, geared towards them, okay, which is really, really cool. There's 80,000 on-demand titles available. And then it is integrated in Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, and YouTube, which is really cool because you could watch it on your TV. That's one thing I liked about Dish that DirecTV didn't have, okay. And then um, residuals are going to be paid for only uh, two years on that service. That's why we like to flip flop every two years. Uh, you know, after I'm done, say, so hooking somebody up with Dish, I'll say, hey, when the rate jumps up after two years, I'm going to be reaching out to you before then to let you know so we can drop you down again. And then now guess what I'm doing? I'm going from Dish, direct, direct, Dish, back and forth, back and forth, right? That's what I'm doing. So I keep getting paid the residuals and the price will drop down for the customer as well. And then I'm going to stop at home phone and then we'll continue next week with the rest of the services for home phone. It is um, included in bundles where available. Now you can transfer an existing home phone number most of the time, most of the time, not always. Okay. Um, and then um, zero points. You don't get any points for home phone for AT&T and Frontier, but you do get one point for Spectrum. Yay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then um, residuals for that is only going to last for two years. Okay. All right, so I'm going to stop there. Let's see if you have a dish. How do they watch the Netflix? Okay, so Netflix, if you have dish, there's actually a channel. And I don't know the channel offhand, but there's actually a channel that's specifically for Netflix. And, and uh, DirecTV does not offer that. Because when we had Dish, we were, when we had the Netflix subscription, there was, it, was on the, it was an actual channel channel. Okay, that you can go Netflix. We had to, we had to pay for the subscription of Netflix, right? Whatever that is, $9.99, $14, yeah. whatever, which is fine. But we could watch it on our TV, right? And um, with DirecTV, we didn't have that extra channel that was linked up to Netflix and all that, okay? Um, all right, and that's it for now because I don't want to overwhelm you guys. I know that's a lot of information. <laughs> next, week, <laughs> next week, we're going to be covering everything else. Um, because like I said, that is a lot. Hopefully you were able to do some screenshots and so forth, but this is going to be, uh, this is really good. So this way you, your confidence level hopefully will go up. So you know a little bit more what you're talking about when you're offering a service and then you can go and grab more services and hopefully focus on the services that are getting paid residuals forever. Right. Now that you know some of the, that service, right. All right, guys. So let me stop sharing here. And then I don't know if Mr. Thomas, is he still on the call? Yeah. I don't know, if, if, yes, if, I am. I'm right here listening. I'm right here listening. Is there what anything? An ama yeah. What an amazing call you guys did in part two is next week. When you announced it in the beginning, I got all excited. <laughs> so, <laughs> man, this is greatly done. And I love, I love your tempo tonight. It was just so everybody could pick it up. It was wonderful information. I know there's a few people have questions. So if we can, can we take about three or four more minutes of your time? Because I, I saw a few uh potential questions pop up okay let's see okay if do you, if t direct tv is bundled with wi-fi what do they do with dish if direct tv is bundled direct tv is bundled with what do they do okay so you're talking about as far as cancellation and so forth okay so one thing i should say yes you do not and let me just say if I didn't answer this correctly, but you don't want to cancel services. You don't want the customer to cancel services until install. So if somebody has Comcast already, say for example, TV or internet, and they're getting an AT&T bundle with you, don't have them cancel that service until after install is complete and everything is A-OK, -okay, okay? Um, and one thing I will say too, I like to, with my customers, I tell them if the technician gets there, the installer gets there, and if there's any problems, you call me first, okay? Any questions, if they say, oh, we can't install, 
or we need this or we need to change this or anything like that, call me first. The reason why is sometimes in the past, unfortunately, um, anytime they change the account number, you lose that customer. Okay. So you don't want them to change the account number and they've done that in the past. And I like to tell my customer as well is before the technician or the installer leaves, you make sure all your TVs work. You know what, how to use your receiver and your internet and everything is hooked up to your, your TV, like for on demand, the on demand and all that stuff. It's all hooked up because that's something they have to hook up to the Wi-Fi on the TV. So you make sure that that's something that they do. Okay. One more. So can you switch every two years with AT&T TV and direct TV? Um, the thing is, I don't think that's a serve. That's still AT&T service. Yeah. So we can't, it's not considered a new service because it's still AT&T. So we would have to I'm go gonna, to like dish. I'm going to jump in here. Uh, number one, make sure that they don't change as miss miss uh, uh king said don't change anything on the order if you change anything on the order you might lose that customer that's exactly uh, so amazing so make sure you guys realize that next make sure like you said make sure nothing changed in an order and it's just like they want it if something happens like i said call you have them call you and like she said another great point is don't cut off anything until after they set everything up because so many people have done it wrong. They cut it off and all of a sudden they don't come out that day. And now yeah. the customers would have three or four days of a week without service. So make sure that you don't cut anything off until after they come out and get everything put together. Yes. And then the next question I see, how do you handle when who someone already has AT&T internet, but they want to get it with me? Well, the thing about that, they're already, this is geared towards new customers. So, um, we don't really recommend it where now if i was an ibo i might do it like where i'd cancel like if i had at and i might cancel and then maybe order under my husband <laughs> you know what i mean i might do that I'm but going i to jail but i wouldn't ask my customer to do that because yeah. why because they're going to be out of service they're going to be out of internet service and that's an inconvenience i don't want to put my customer through that but for me I'll do it because it's me, <laughs> you know, or your IBO, right? But no, because it has to be considered a new service and it has to be, everything has to be different, meaning the, the uh, phone number has to be different. The email has to be different. Credit card. Uh, the credit card has to be different. So that's something to keep in mind. Like if say, if I wanted to, you know, like that situation type of thing that if I wanted to swap for me to but my husband type of thing, but that's my house type of thing. And I wanted to get credit cause I'm a business owner and I didn't mind being on the internet. Those three things have to be different. The phone number, the email and the credit card. Anytime there's a match in the system, they'll, they'll AT&T will show it as an existing flag customer it. flag it. And then they'll, they'll either. Yeah. <laughs> they won't, they won't install or they'll say, we're going to charge you normal rates again, you know? So yeah forever yeah so any other questions guys an old bills is is it within a couple on old bills that's tj on old bills is it within a couple of years on old bills i'm not sure what what the question is do you understand uh-uh is it within a couple of years it's tj's right there can we unlock yeah can we let me see if i can unmute you or maybe nope. not no i can't i can't <laughs> unmute you tj Oh, there, there you, you are. Go. Yes. Okay, go ahead and ask. Thank you. You know, and on a, on some of the other, um, on the dish, I think, and maybe um, on the satellites. I think you were saying that you had a couple customers that came up that had old bills. Yes. And so I was wondering, is it more recent, like in the last couple of years, or is it something that goes back to the nineties? I mean, how is, is there an age parameter so we can speak with our customers? Yeah. Well, I know some. I know somebody that was literally. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I know somebody that their situation was he couldn't even remember. It had been that long. He couldn't even remember that situation and where he had that service. So he said it had to be at least over five to six years ago. So I don't know. I just know that I, I don't know there's a certain like after 10 years it drops off or I don't know that. I just know that if in most cases, like I says, I would just say it's going to pop up. Probably <laughs> it's probably going to pop up. OK, does that what here? Hold on. You're muted again. Hold on. I am. I. Okay. Go ahead. Did you have another question? I was just going to say, you know, I'm thinking in terms in tandem of 
ID seal and getting these services. And so if they're looking at their credit report, it's not there. And then they say, hey, you have this old bill. So that's where my mind's going. If it's, you know, you're looking at something that's from 20, um, one or something like that. I don't know. But I was just trying to understand so that we can prepare in a case right. we have an old bill. And if they're not seeing it on the they pulled a new credit report or something like that. You know, right. Maybe. So just, just hint hand. That's all I'm thinking. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think what, what worked for me, honestly, in that situation, because I had a customer, same exact situation where it showed up, he owed for AT&T, we were trying to do, did the streaming TV first, then we went to direct TV and both said he owed like 300 something dollars. What it made me, put me in a situation where I said, hey, oh my gosh, you, somebody might be using your credit information, we should get you ID silk. And he's like, oh my gosh, I can't even remember having AT&T. Why would I owe? Oh my God, you're right, you're right. So we ended up getting ID sealed because of that and later on found out that it was a previous account from years and years and years ago, but he didn't want to pay it, so he went with DISH. <laughs> but he still got ID sealed. So it worked, it worked. You know, So that could be to your advantage as well. If somebody can't remember a previous account, you know, from years and years ago, that's your opening to say, oh my gosh, if you can't remember, somebody could be using your account. I had another girl tell me that her mom was using her, her, her information. And so I was like, oh my God, from years, like when she was younger, when she was younger, but I go, oh my gosh, you need, I just, you know, so yeah, so this is what I'm saying. Look at those openings and opportunities for you to, to go ahead and get, to protect themselves, because that, that really is something they need then, in that case, okay? All right, so anybody else? Anybody have any other questions before we close out? All right, guys. Well, thank you guys so much. You have a blessed evening, and then we'll talk to you next Sunday, and we'll fill you up with more information. <laughs> thank okay. you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right.